Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the best YouTuber ever. That's me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel, folks. It's the one, the only, Swiss V. Millie. And on today's video, I'm doing a reaction video to a black content creator. He's a big YouTuber. He goes by the name of Corey X. Kenshin. And he's talking about YouTube racism and favoritism. And on this reaction videos, I'm going to be giving my thoughts on this opinion because I'm a black content creator. So I'm going to give you my opinion on all this. Like and subscribe. To everybody that's been subscribed to me, thank you so much. Mwah. God bless you. Appreciate the support. I'm going to keep going, you feel me? I'm going to keep telling the truth, my truth, and keep expressing myself and having fun with this. Let's get started. I'm going to try my best to articulate this video as thoroughly, as plainly, as eloquently as possible. I don't want there to be any lost context. I don't want to just look like I'm coming out of nowhere, having a temper tantrum because these things are happening. The allegations I am levying towards YouTube are extremely... To be honest, what he's saying about YouTube is true. They don't want us black people to shine. They don't want us black small content creators or minority content creators. If you're Asian, Spanish, they don't want us to shine. They make it more difficult for us than they do the white man. You know, because they look more cute on the camera or whatever. But it's not about looking cute on the camera. It's about the information you have. Or if you're a good entertainer, why not show the people your stuff, your magic? No, they want to shut us. And I'm Let's taking keep going this with the video, video extremely seriously. YouTube. You guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Which one is it? Here's my proof. I've been doing YouTube a long time, okay? I never want to be that guy, oh, it's because I'm black. Oh, these issues are happening because I'm black. There have been certain situations that I looked at kind of funny. I said, hmm, it could be because of that, but nah, I ain't gonna, I don't, I'm not trying to press that. I don't want to build that narrative around my, my YouTube channel. This time, I can no longer let it slide. This is the situation. Yeah, he doesn't want to build that narrative, but that's the, the freaking truth. Races. A lot of you would know they're against me too in the algorithm if i drop a video, video did, talking about a specific you guys thing know we got or if i talk about YouTube something that's not part of the agenda I saw that they block me or for copyright or it's inappropriate for kids all types of bullshit to be that and shit I happens looked. to me for like an hour, but you two know, hours. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going dropping videos because video. this is what we youtubers do we keep going no matter if they hate us so i appealed the restriction um hey guys i I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. They doubled down. The policy team said, no, Corey, your video is restricted for good reason. We're not going to tell you why, but it's restricted. That's our final decision. I said, hmm. I have the AC off. Let me take off my shirt. I'm hot. <sighs> Comfortable. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get with my YouTube rep. I send him an email. Hey, could you look at this? This is some weird stuff going on. Only my video got age restricted. My YouTube rep, who isn't on the policy team, he looked at my video and he said, hey, it could possibly be this part at the end where the woman was battling some depression. And I'm just going to leave it there. Lest this video also get age restricted just because I'm talking about it. So I looked at that part. The first thing I did was try to find other YouTubers who had that part or at least a part similar. Now, Mark Kaplier, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I just want you to know I have a lot of respect for you and I didn't mean to drag you into the middle of this. Your channel just has happens to be a great reference point because A, you're a really big YouTuber and B, you're not black. So I can look at your channel and then I can look at my channel or look at anyone else's channel and make sure that the things and the games that you play all that they're enforcing the rules equally to everybody so i go to markiplier's mortuary assistant part three and he had the same situation going on and that's all i'm saying with youtube youtube if 
you work for them, if you're watching this video and you work for the YouTube company, um, stop being racist. Stop um, putting um, f um, favoritism on certain on certain YouTubers. Give small time creators this a video chance. Wasn't age Give me a chance. So I send the video to my YouTube rep. I say, hey, um, don't ban me. Don't block me. Situation in his video for saying but this. His is an age restricted. Could you send that to the policy team and see what they say about that? At this that? point, I think YouTube you will do what? anything to get uh, me out of this That's some astute site. detective work. They don't want me here. They don't want me to create and see what they say. videos for y'all, but... What know, do you think happens after whatever. that? Fuck YouTube. I give you a second. I'm doing this for me and y'all. They came back and they removed God my age the restriction. I picked up. They took it off! After they already rejected my appeal, I sent them the clip of Markiplier's video that has the same thing and they removed it now my youtube rep he was excited he was oh great this is awesome look Corey, they took the age restriction off i said why i expected them to triple down and give markiplier an age restriction too they're not gonna triple down they're not gonna triple down you they don't care they made a mistake so they undid your mistake instead of giving the other guy a strike or making his thing um for for kids only for restricting his video they don't want to do that so they unrestrict your video that's what they do you feel me there's a lot of tricks a lot of weird stuff going on in this youtube app i'm still here because i love youtube i grew up watching youtube since i was little since like 2008 i've been watching youtube and i always wanted to you know be a youtuber but but they hopefully they give me a fair video. shot and they use that to verify my innocence. So I send my YouTube rep a lengthy email detailing my feelings about the, the entire situation, feeling like there was some favoritism at play, there was either that or some racism at play, and that I would like to sit down with the policy team and figure out why my video was flagged in the first place. Actually, number one, was it automated or was it a human that age restricted in in the first place? Number two, who was the human reviewer? Because it's a human reviewer once you send submit an appeal. Who was the human reviewer that doubled down and rejected my appeal? You won't have to worry about so much if you're a white person making YouTube videos. That's what I think. They give you not the y'all get a better advantage. They like to show more white people and stuff like that, you know, for the mainstream. And people like me, I, my face is too ghetto. They think I'm a gangster. They think I'm a rapper and a killer and stuff like that. Number so three, they don't want me in the why YouTube did it take Markiplier's all. clip in order for them to reverse the decision? My YouTube rep gets back with me. He wants to hop on a call. We get on the phone um, for about 10, 15 minutes, and I tell him, I've been feeling like this for a long time. I've been feeling like every single time that I come back to YouTube, I'm number one trending for a few days and then they find some arbitrary issue. They nitpick and they try and find something that they can incriminate me for and try to push me down. You don't believe me? What happened the last time I came back and I was number one trending for like a week? They copyright strike me for a video that was in 2019 or something like that. Why don't these issues ever crop up when I'm not uploading? I mean, I I'm not on YouTube like nine months out of the year. Nothing ever happens until I come back and I start uploading again and I'm getting my numbers, they're climbing, they're exploding, I'm number one trending, and then they're like, hey, we need to stop him. We need to, hey, this black man, he's getting too many views. He's, he's getting too much exposure, too much activity. Hold that thought. Let's get back to the current situation. So my YouTube rep assures me he's gonna continue this di- Yeah, there's so much. There's so much. So much bullshit. So much. They make it so hard. YouTube every year is becoming more harder to get um, monetized. And now they're making it harder for the, the minorities. Like if you're in a different country, if you wasn't born in the United States and you were consecrated, they make it harder for you. If you're somebody like me, dark skin, they're making it harder for you. They're making it hard. Right now, what I'm seeing is all the big YouTubers winning. Since the lockdown, they've been winning. Small YouTubers, they're not winning as much. Like, I'm winning, but I've been putting in the work, so you feel me? But I know you got to put in the work to win, but, you know, sometimes I feel like they should give credit where credit is due. They're not doing that enough. 
they're not doing that enough because I'm seeing a lot of content creators with a lot of videos and they still not monetize. Well, the policy team and try to get some answers to those three questions that I had. So another day, another two days go by and what do you know? They re-age restricted the video. <laughs> they re-age restricted the video. I say no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now and now his video is age restricted. They got caught with their pants down. They got called out and then they had to go back and say, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, basically every time we catch them and they lies, they go back and try to make us feel better. They try to fix the situation. They try to make us hush hush. But us, us chosen ones, we're gonna speak no matter what. We're gonna speak our piece. The real content creators, whether you big or small, shout out to Corey Kenshin, cause um, he like he's a big YouTuber. He's getting mad money and he's still speaking his piece and fighting for his rights and what he think is right. And you feel me? And that's how it's supposed to be. It doesn't mean because you're doing sponsorship or you're monetized that you're just going to go with their agenda all the time and just hush, hush. If they tell you they want you to be quiet, you're just going to hush, hush. Nah, it don't work like that. But I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. I'm not able to finish this video. If you want to see the rest of the video, go to Corey X Kenshin YouTube. He has 14 million subscribers. He's a great guy. Peace.